when you're looking at a SharePoint site, there's obviously going to be a lot of content that you'll see. You've got a title, you've got the web parts, and elements on the page that let you navigate. And on the left, depending on the type of site it is, this is a team site. On the left over here in the navigation bar, I see site contents. This would take me to all the different contents of the site, meaning I do have some things here, but not everything is visible here. If I go to site contents, then I would see everything that's available within this site. Document libraries, lists, site pages, etc. Even subsites, which are not truly recommended anymore, but you can make them. Now, in a different type of site, which is like that, which is a communication site, you would not see the site contents on the left nav. However, you can always go to the gear on top here and go to site contents. And that will show you all the contents, once again, of the site. Okay, Regardless of how you get to the site contents page, when you're at this page, things will look similar. So you can create new content here, lists, pages, document libraries, app. Once again, subsites could be made here, but not recommended. It's better to keep all sites at the top level. And then you have, depending on your permissions, you might be able to see site usage, workflows, if any, attached to this site, settings of this site, which only admins can see, and also recycle bin. Anything that you delete from the site in terms of library, content, pages, whatever, any element goes into a recycle bin. I'm going to go to this one because I know I have some content here. If I go to recycle bin, I see a bunch of things here. And from here, I can restore or delete from here as well. So even the recycle bin, you can delete content from here. And that's a quick tour of the site contents where all the content of the site resides.